Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tech Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. So I've got a few things I want to share with you in this video. I just want to say as well, I love you Dawn P, your comments are great, put a smile on my face. <laughs> so many are asking why there's an increase in solar flares. If you paid attention to my previous video, and this is when this is when spirit was moving upon my mind. I referred to the soda flares as the breath of God. And I didn't know why at the time. I just went with it. This is what I do with spirit. And so I was putting some verses together. And I was like, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I'm going to share that with you today to reveal why there is an increase of the soda flares. What is it symbolically meaning? Remember... The firmament declares the glory of God's handiwork. The moon, the sun, the stars are for signs and seasons. Symbolically, what is the interpretation? What is the meaning? And I want to reveal that to you in this video. So we're getting fire coming in. The soda flares, they're increasing. And there, there has been a sequence of these soda flares as Anna from Mind Forward had revealed to us. Okay, it's a bit hot today. Right, I'm going to share some verses with you now. I'm going to start with the Gospel of Thomas 10. Jesus said, I have cast fire upon the world and see, I am guarding it until it blazes. Now let's go to scripture because I like to go to scripture. Uh, what symbolically, we are seeing this fire coming in from the screen shown to us in this way, the soda flares. But it's not what people think. There's many that are speculating and imagining all sorts. But this is a, this is a, a fire of spirit, right? And I'm going to reveal that to you in this video with verses. Let me just stop it there. Okay, so something was coming in then. So I just, I want to readdress here. Remember, we're in this period where there's great deception going on. And so a lot of the conspiracy communities, they're going to take the bait, right? You must turn to spirit and scripture and look at the world symbolically and, and see beyond the screen, see beyond the levers being pulled. I hope that makes sense. Right, let's give some scripture. So in Luke 12, 49, I come to send fire on the earth and now I wish it were already kindled. And now I wish it were already kindled. This is a spiritual fire and I've been through it whereby I come out my feet as brass going through the furnaces of affliction and he does this for his name's sake god is not mocked man will reap what he sows the i amness that's in us it is hot luke 12 50 but i have a baptism to undergo and how distressed i am until it is accomplished why is he distressed because it's a baptism of fire upon the world and it is going to cause great distress great distress but it has to, this is the birthing pains god's making all things new and it's the breath of god that's coming in i'm going to give scripture but however but however there is again the gatekeepers and the deceivers the false prophets they're going to come up with all sorts of things to to mislead you to deceive etc so you don't make the connections with scripture so they try to keep you disconnected from the truth from god all right matthew 3 11 i baptize with water those who repent of their sins and turn to god but someone is coming soon and i've mentioned this he's coming who is greater than i remember the visit well it's here so much greater that 
so much greater that I'm not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and, and with fire. That's what's coming in. The breath of God. Let's go to the next verse. Isaiah 33, 11, which we keep seeing a lot of. 33, 11, 44, 88. Now I will arise, says the Lord. And I mentioned he is coming. And there's a visit. And Jesus Christ is coming to reward all those who have done the works. And it's the birthing pains into the new age. And there is a fire that's coming. Our God is consuming flame. Now I will lift myself up. Now I will be exalted. You conceive chaff. You give birth to stubble. Your breath, your breath is a fire that will consume you. The people will be burnt as ashes, like thorns cut down and, and set ablaze. This is a spiritual This is a spiritual matter that's underway right now. All is spirit. All is in Christ. I cannot emphasize the importance in getting knowledge and turning to God during these times. So, to my mind, with what spirit is revealing to me, regardless what many other channels are saying, symbolically, this is the breath of God coming in, making all things new. And you wanted to you wanted to get right with God. You wanted to get your house in order and be the heavenly star being already with your far with your feet as brass. Yeah, already with your feet. Brass feet. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot to get out. Okay. This is Jesus Christ being formed in you, where you've gone through the furnaces of affliction where you've gone for an atonement, where you've turned away from this world, seeking the depths of God, trying to get understanding, get your wisdom to fill your vase full of wisdom, which is the parable of the virgins. Oof. So what I am seeing right now, it could be termed or coined as judgment day. Okay, etc. It's the it's spirit waking up. It's God being handed over the earth, as we are told in scripture by Jesus. Here is the fruits and here is the earth. The earth belongs to the Lord, the fullness thereof. But the, but the wicked entities in the host body system, those lawless ones who have been listening to the dark angel over the pit, they've been doing all sorts of abominations, right? And so when spirit turns up, there's a, a sorting of the souls and spirits and God will see all those children that have turned to him. He, his children and the elect, those who belong to Christ and those into the adoption of Christ are harvested, harvest, move into the new future that will prosper them. And 144,000 have been here during Armageddon, getting this truth out there, the watchmen, etc. Those who have gone through a particular process, sharing the gifts received from God to reveal to us wonderful revelations and truth that's been hidden in scripture. The truth about the nature of this world, etc. OK, so let me stop there. I got three videos i want to music videos i'm going to share with you now we have shakespeare St <coughs> shakespeare's sister stay it's very allegorical all right the woman that comes down the stairs is symbolic of trouble he's playing as the first man adam who's asleep she's waiting till he wakes up that he would return back to his own world his own mind okay so that's Shakespeare sister. I'm just going to point you to these music videos now and maybe I'll talk a bit more about them in another video. Then we have the killers, human. Are we human or are we dancers? We are the angels who come to dance in the spectrum, the spectre, in the frequency, vibration. 
but now we're singing a new song, dancing to a new tune. The fiery beans on the sea, sea of glass seeing clearly and watching the fire, the breath of God coming to change everything. There is awakening of spirit, birthing into the new age where Christ reigns. We serve the Lord Jesus Christ day and night. It, the next music video is Strangers. I can't pronounce the name of it. That music video is so allegorical. And I'll just give you a basic insight. Our story begins after we wake up. Okay, when we die to the first man, earthly man, Adam. All right, then our story begins. At first, it's all been an illusion. It's been fake, right? We've been playing in the land of Nod. So only when we start to wake up do our stories begin. So listen to that uh, music video. Very powerful, very allegorical. So I'm just pointing to these here. Then there's this brother I want to share with you. Please don't judge by appearances. We are visual beings. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. But there is wonderful brothers and sisters out there, the peculiar people that belong to the Lord. And this brother I've been following for a long time and has helped me out in receiving my jigsaw puzzle piece of gold to receive great revelation and understanding. And so I want to share this video with you. He is very intellectual, very intelligent man. I think he's brilliant. And his video I listened to today was so spot on. I feel inspired to share it with you. All right. So here it is. Jesus' true identity revealed. Who was he? Wonderful jigsaw puzzle piece of gold to the mysteries, to the truth that's in you. I urge you just to listen to that video. All right. He is amazing. Um, again, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I go, nothing restricts me in my research. I will go down many different schools of thought, different avenues into the occult, the Apocrypha, the Dead Sea Scrolls, anything that's mystical, spiritual. I will go and investigate, and I have done now since the year 2011, studying day and night. And you will be shocked that things are not always what they seem. And these wonderful individuals that people will make assumptions, I know they are the children of God, and they are here for a particular reason to share real wisdom and knowledge. Okay, so that's all i got to share with you today. I hope you're doing well. I wish you all the best. Have a lovely evening. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengu Jitsu Master and Mystic messenger love you guys have a good day